Here are two very young children, one of each sex. Well, there's not a lot of difference between the sexes at this stage. True, there's a little appendage on one which the other hasn't got. But how very important that difference is going to be one day. My name's K. Jane Brownin. I was born in Tivert in Devon. It's a quiet market town in a valley and not much goes on really. I move around a bit, lived in various places, but I always end up coming back to Tivert and it's my hometown. One of my earliest memories, I think I must have been about five. I was shoveling mud with my dad in the garden and it was a hot summer day so he had his top off and me being only five just sort of took my shirt off too and started using a small shovel, shoveling with him. Just got fully on form. I love that sort of stuff. Fixing up old cars, going up the tip, rummaging around for that old tat to build new stuff out of. Another memory from around the same time was going over to my local park and getting teased and punched in the face by some older kids. I went home really upset about that. I know there were other instances like this, but this is the one that sticks. It had a pretty negative impact on me, but I always tried to regenerate those negative experiences into positive things. I loved all the things that all the other kids loved, like all the Disney films, I had all the videos and posters. Um, I loved Tarzan, Jungle Book, Hercules. Tarzan was bred amongst the apes, and Hercules, he had a really strong sense that he was more than what he was brought up to be. He had to pursue that independently and overcome great odds, and I can just really relate to that. <coughs> My name's Kay. I'm reading a poem from Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, a poem called Mowgli's Brothers. Now ran the kite, Brings home the night, that man the bat sets free. The herds are shut in briar and hut, for loosed till dawn are we. This is our hour of pride and power, talon, touch and claw. Oh, hear the call, good hunting all, that keep the jungle law. Thank you. knows well enough that he has something else. He almost certainly doesn't know that the tube is called a penis and that the small egg-shaped objects in the sack are called testicles. I always considered myself quite gender neutral, really. It's only become an issue since I went into the social spectrum. At school, people made it very apparent to me that I was different. Um, it wasn't a positive experience and physical bullying was savage. I would have people come up to me and pin my arms against the wall and kick me in the vagina and stuff like that. You're a girl, stuff like that. I naturally expressed male behaviours, the way I walked, the way I dressed, spoke, everything. I got pretty butch, hair scraped back, trousers baggy, anything to conceal any trace of femininity, really. My older brothers and their mates used to write hip-hop and beatbox and stuff. Tivitin is pretty dull, so they used to do it all day, and I loved it. Eminem was a massive influence on me at the time and I just fell in love with the whole movement and lifestyle. I felt liberated and found a sort of auxiliary output into the world. Around like that 
All these drastic tactics to keep a boy in chains Attitude is Jurassic belligerence Criticism of my difference, the ignorance I plummet to insignificance This is for the sons and the daughters Trying to cross borders Like lambs to the slaughter I'm different, I'm not a criminal Don't be cynical This man is transitional Like lambs to the slaughter I'm different, I'm not a criminal Don't be cynical This man is transitional his voice growing gruff and manly and hair beginning to grow on his face. And you probably think that's a fine manly thing to happen as well, even if he is one of those who prefer to shave it off. I remember watching Dirty Dancing when I was about five. I used to roll up my sleeves and prance about like Patrick Swayze. The dancing thing kind of all started there, really. Um, I try and express myself for a range of different disciplines, but dancing and choreography is where I'd say I feel the most at home. I see it as an exhibition of your internal anatomy. I can exhibit my thoughts and feelings without verbalising a thing. You can take something as horrid as violence or emotional turmoil and present it as something attractive and insightful. Dance especially, and manifesting your suppressed emotions into movements is exhilarating in all kinds of ways, and it makes me feel when sometimes I otherwise can't. I'm a fighter. I love the way I am. I love the way I look. It's been a slow and rocky road to get here, but here I am.